All right, I'm gonna show you a little setup that I've been working on here. I'm obsessed with the uh, alternate power, but I'm not very good at it, so I'm just kind of tinkering and trying different things. I set up, made this little thing with this 18 volt, 18 watt uh, solar panel. It comes into here right now. It's pushing 15.8 through it, it discharges everything here. There's a little noisy DC to AC converter. Um, and uh, this is doing 12.3 right now, in this case is 12.4 and it shows that I'm getting a signal off of that so that's one piece that I've been tinkering tinkering with that's just regular power in and this one is coming on a, to a Peltier and then this actually comes into a, a step up that goes from 2 or 3 volts to 5 volts output so I can actually charge my phone on the other side of this Peltier. This is cold and hot. Um, that's actually charging. All right, I put hot on this side. I used a torch and then I put ice on the other side. And it actually worked to charge that. So, and this is the newest one I just bought. This is a five volt step up to 12 volt. Um, I forgot the manufacturer name, but inbound uh, here, out here. And I'm using these, so if I wanted to try to throw more power at this guy, assuming that solar panel wasn't coming in enough for 12 volts, then this is what I'm going to use to have these guys help. It's not going to be very much, but something. Right now I have a USB connection into the goal zero, and it's got a connection. It's that blue light right there. And, and then I just stripped it, stripped the cable here so right now goal zero is coming in at so click on here at 495 and that would charge my cell phone so the other one I have is this guy so if I connect to him this is a uh, this is from all power and he's coming in at 502. So you can see that four panels are better than two. Coming off the exact same sunlight. And so this connection I'm actually going to run into here and test my output. Hopefully it should be 12 volts. So here's the setup then. So we have, you can't see this hardly at all because it's so bright outside. That's a, that's a reading 5 volts in, so it's coming off of the all powers. The USB connection is coming in here. And then outbound, right now is 22 volts. So there's actually a, an adjustment. Oh my god. Adjustment on here. You can adjust the output voltage. Screwdriver is too big. All right, so, <clears throat> so, so I've adjusted. I don't know how many. I had to figure out how many amps are coming off of this. Whoops. But the uh, this unit. Um, so it's five volt right now. This this connection right here actually allows you to turn it down. So if I hit this little button. This is the out 19.7, it was 22. So if I turn this down, 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 down. To 12, whatever. There's 12.2, 12.2 here, this is reading 12.5, so I have inbound of 5 volts coming from him, 
So now I just need to tinker with the actual amperage out, see how many amperages, how much amp this is putting out. It's doing 12 volts, but I've taken a 5 volt setup and turned it into a 12 volt setup. And theoretically, even if I have like this, uh, LED lights that operate off of 12 volt, I should be able to make a nice little box or setup that this guy can help actually um, power something 12 volt off of it. And you see nickel zero is a little bit weaker than all powers in the exact same partial sunlight. It's a cloudy day. So this is an addition proving uh, that the 12 volt step up is working. It's exactly, I turned it down to 12 exactly. And I connected these two cables to a little LED. And it's lighting up. So, that's great. At 12 volts, um, 5 volts in and 5 volts in from the solar panel, it does a step up to 12 volts and it's actually about 0.67 amps out.